Namaste, friends, and welcome. This is Crystal Joy of Sea Joy Yoga. Just putting that out there because I have uh, many new friends who have been um, joining the YouTube channel and our um, Patreon channel. So I want to work with Agni Sara. It's a particular breath that we do. It's part breath work and part um, uh, a, a body, part asana, quite honestly. And we're going to do it in three different positions. Just a reminder, you can always go back a stage and do it in the position before. And I'm going to start lying down on the back. Before you lie down, I'm going to suggest that you stay in a place where you can see me without hurting your neck for the first bit. And I'm going to show my abdomen because that's where the work comes from, right? So <clears throat> it's this breath where I'll say, inhale and we'll fill the belly up, right? And then we're going to exhale just like we normally would. No pushing or pulling or anything in the beginning, right? But once we exhale and the air is out of the lungs, then we're going to do what I call vacuum or pull the flesh to the spine. And that looks something like this. We'll hold the breath out as long as we can. And then we'll do that again. We're going to try and do that about four times from this position. This is often the easiest for people to find it in. And then we'll try to move it, you know, into two more each time getting a little more difficult. So you could stay here on your back the whole time. Come into constructive rest pose. And if you need a more more of a breakdown on this breath, there are videos in the um, in the vaults, right, that you can go find that break it down more. So go ahead and inhale, fill up, soft belly breath like you always do. Exhale. And regular until at the end. At the end, go ahead and pull your belly flesh down to your spine. Try to hold the air out as long as you comfortably can and inhale, fill up just like you just did soft belly breath. And again, it starts a soft belly breath at the beginning of the exhale. And then once the air is out, go ahead and vacuum that belly down towards the spine. Also called hollowing out the abdomen. There are many ways it's talked about. Inhale, filling up. So you leave the air out the whole time you vacuum that belly down. Let's try two more. Exhale. Vacuum. Keep the jaw soft, the tongue soft, the eyes soft, the shoulders soft. Inhale. And on this last one, you follow your own breath, exhale. And what I mean by that is when you vacuum, hold out only as long as is comfortable. You don't get extra points if you hold it out the longest or anything like that, right? That is actually stressful on the body and, and it kind of defeats the purpose of what we're doing or it doesn't add benefit to it. I'll say it that way. So whenever you're ready to take your next inhale, you're just gonna do a regular old inhale and exhale, often referred to as recovery breaths. And then just pause and notice the effects so far of the practice. So you could stay right here. You could do this from here the whole time. Or go ahead and bring yourself up to a standing posture. Right? You're going to put your hands on your legs and you're going to fold forward just a little bit. I sometimes grab my pants if my these pants are kind of slick, right? So I'll try to show my abdomen for the first one, right? It's the same exact thing. I inhale. Soft belly breath. I exhale. And then I pull that belly back to the spine. I hold it out as long as I comfortably can. And then inhale. Here we go. Exhale. Hollow out your belly. Inhale. Always try to inhale before you get that vacuum effect where you're like, <gasps> right? Exhale. Hollow out the belly. One more. Inhale. I went a little too long. You can kind of hear it, hopefully. Exhale. This time stay as long as is comfortable. That might be shorter than what we've been doing. That might be longer. Again, you don't get more points if it's longer. 
and go ahead and come on up to standing. Take a couple of recovery breaths. And again, I'm just gonna keep my belly showing so you can see the last position we're gonna try it in is downward facing dog. Now we haven't done prep into this, right? So if downward dog feels like too much, do one of the other two. Otherwise, with your hands down on your mat, you're gonna walk yourself out on a downward dog. Now I'm gonna suggest that you bend your knees a little bit for this. I mean, always I will whenever I teach downward dog, but especially since we're holding it, we wanna keep the spine long. It's harder to find the hollowing out if you've got your rounded spine, right? Inhale, soft belly breath, exhale. At the end, hollow out your abdomen. Obviously there's work to be had, keeping everything else soft, inhale. And exhale. Hollow out the abdomen. Inhale. And on this last one, this will be the last one we do. Please hollow out your abdomen as long as is comfortable. So again, maybe you stay there less time, maybe you stay there more time. And then when you're ready, you'll come down into child's pose. And we'll do our recovery breaths from child's pose. If child's pose isn't comfortable for any reason, remember, you can always go into a standing forward fold, legs wide. And just let the belly be nice and soft. And again, notice the effects of this practice. And I'll have it in the writing below the description, but you know, just a couple reminders, you don't wanna do this with a full stomach. You want your stomach to be empty. I usually do it first thing in the morning before breakfast. You don't wanna hold it out so long that you have that vacuum effect or that the body feels stressed. Otherwise you literally start to activate your fight, flight and freeze part of the nervous system. We don't want that. And from here today, my friends, come on up. You can either come back onto seated or just roll back onto your heels for a moment. We won't be here for long. Bring your hands together together in front of your heart, gently bow your head and, and just taking a moment of gratitude. You are able to breathe. There are many who are not very, they have, they have difficulty breathing, we'll say, right? We woke up today. We have this body. Namaste, friends. May all beings everywhere be well. No exceptions, not even that politician we don't like.